Ellie Allison says she wants to be an engineer. She says the design process used to create objects in 3D is cool because all it takes is one click of the mouse. If you made something on a very large scale, like a windmill or something, then if you jerked one thing, then the whole thing would be uh, not sized right. Yeah, I like that part of it. That same level of passion is what Maker Girl co-founders Julia Harriet, Elizabeth Angley, and Sophie Lee hope to inspire in other young girls. The premise behind Maker Girl is to encourage young girls to embrace their femininity while simultaneously showing them how much fun STEM can be. Women and girliness is not an issue. It's, they should embrace it and have fun with it, um, and it can, be, it can redefine power. During each session, the girls are given a specific project to create using the 3D printers located in the business instructional facility on campus. The projects range from barrettes to magnets to bracelets and to keychains and are meant to appeal to girls of all ages. 3D printing itself is incredibly easy to use. All you do is take the SD card, slide it in the slot, hit the button, and wait about 5 to 10 minutes until your project pops out of the side. Freshman Caitlin Deegan says she got involved with Maker Girl to connect with aspiring female engineers in the community. As an engineering student, she says she is constantly encouraged to highlight her femininity as well. You could definitely be super girly like with what you wear. They actually teach us that as engineers. They're like, if you're a woman in engineering, you should play up that you're a woman. While learning about different women in STEM is exciting, Ellie says that the 3D printing is what keeps her coming back to the Maker Girl sessions. I think it's really cool how it, like, the computer knows how to move it and uh, layer it in just the right way. In Urbana, I'm Melissa Reggae, UI7 Newsbreak.